Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video I've got the very, very exciting and very beautiful Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost Palette which is coming for Christmas 2019. Limited edition packaging, brand new shades. So if you're interested in seeing those in action, I've got swatches and I'm applying, then please keep watching. So, first of all, the Ghost packaging is this kind of translucent, they call it a ghostly translucent packaging. That's all the shade information on the back there. And as you can see, the top is like reflective silver, but the sides are this kind of translucent plastic, I suppose. Doesn't sound very glam, but I kind of like this. Uh, some feedback from people or when I wrote about this on my blog post I'll link the post below for you so you can see my photographs and the swatches that I've taken for you say so they're not overly into the packaging I, I rather like it I think it looks different and actually in the flesh I feel like it's a pretty gorgeous palette of course it's got some absolutely amazing shades now the top Three shades are best-selling shades from Hourglass. So they are, I'm so, <laughs> so blind. I'm, I'm gonna do this without glasses, okay. Dim Light. This is Dim Light. This one is Diffused Light. Um, by the way, don't look at my nails. They are awful. And that's basically me, like me saying, look at my nails, but don't look at my nails, sorry. Dim Light, Diffused Light, and then Iridescent strobe light is that one. So I'll insert the swatches of those right now. If you're an hourglass fiend, you'll know these, but this, this is dim light. I'll show you just on my fingers and I'll swatch them for you. Dim light, diffused light, which is that one I use under my eyes. Dim light, diffused light, and then we've got the iridescent strobe light. So like that there. One. Two, three, and along the bottom we have three brand new and exclusive shades, which is really exciting, and they they're just really beautiful. They're just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's just such a stunning looking palette. So this here is a bronzer, and that one is called Eternal Bronze Light. That's a new one. And then in the middle bottom, we've got another new one, Iridescent Rose, and that's a strobe blush. And then this one is also brand new, and it's a blush, and it's called Sublime Flush. So I'm going to insert the swatches of those ones in for you now. On the bottom, we have the new Eternal Bronze Light, and the new Iridescent Rose, and then the new Sublime Flush. Show you those drawn on as well. One, two, three. Really pretty. This is £75. It launches on the 1st of October at a range of retailers which I've listed in my blog post. Also in that blog post you can sign up for a email alert so that I'll email you with live links once it is on sale. I literally I'm stalking everything at Christmas time, so you can trust me to keep you in touch. So the next part of the video is me applying and I use all of the shades so that you can see how they look on my fair skin. Because I know a few people that have responded to the blog post and my Instagram post have said that they're worried that some of these shades might be too pigmented for fair skin. But you can see how that applies. So that's, we're gonna go back to the point where I have none of this glow on, apart from foundation now. So I've just got a bit of foundation and concealer on, brow, like lash, nothing to worry about, a little bit of lip. And it's the new Surat Dewdrop Foundation. And my favourite Magic Away concealer in shade 3 from Charlotte Tilbury. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go in with this lightest colour in the new Ghost palette. And that one is the Finishing Powder Diffused Light. And I'm just going to sit under my eyes so you can see how that works. a really nice soft brightening powder. 
really nice. I love this. Right, so what I tend to do with the top three colours in these ambient lighting edits is just kind of like mix them all and just kind of go over and set everything on my face. It just gives a nice glow. And that one is one of the strobe powders, so it's like extra glowy. So you might want to like miss that one if you don't like to look too glowy on the skin all over. Now I'm going to just go in to the strobe powder, this one. Just add a bit more onto the tops of my cheekbones, like this. This is a subtle highlight. In fact, you can kind of like press it on with your fingers if you want to build it up, which I quite like to do. So that's the top right shade in the palette, that one there. It's really pretty. And they're also soft and like diffusing on the skin. So you don't look cakey, you just look kind of like velvet glow, if you know what I mean. So let me just get into these shades down the bottom. So these are all new shades on the bottom. It's the Eternal Bronze Light is the bronzer in this palette. I'm going to go in with this. What brush is this? Fenty. Oh, it's the bronzer brush. <laughs> Amazing. Just into there. So you can see how this goes onto my skin. I'm pretty pale, I would say, but this works for me. The other cheek. Quite good for like adding a bit of definition. On my pale skin it works and I think it will work on deeper skin tones as well because you can build it up. Right, so what do you want to see next? So I've got two blush shades in here. What I thought I might do is a bit like a Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury kind of like, you know how on her cheek to cheek, or is it cheek to cheek? I'm not sure. Probably got one somewhere, but never mind. How she has like a more diffuse one and then a pop colour. So what I'm going to do is use the shade Sublime Flush, just kind of all over the cheek area with this brush. Like that. Oh, nice. I like this colour. Had a little play already. I've got swatches on the blog. You want to see them on my arm? It's all over like that. And then I'm going to add a little pop of the glowy one, kind of more on the top of my cheeks. So I'm going to go with a smaller brush. Just a bit more of a pop of colour and a bit of glow too. And also I reckon this is probably quite nice washed over the lids. I've got a bit of bronzer on my lids already but yeah, nice. Very nice. So I'm happy with that. It gives a really lovely, kind of fresh look. And if you ever think you've overdone it with um, blush, which happens pretty easily with any blush or any well pigmented blush, just pop over it with your foundation brush. This is the brush I use to apply the Surat foundation, which I do have info on. There's a video coming and I have a blog post already, which I'll link to. So, yeah, really, really like that a lot. And like, if you want to go in with the highlight, you can kind of like pop some in those Places that you want to pop more, like here. And with a small eyeshadow brush, you can go in with that like strobe shade. Just pop it into the inner 
corners here. Which is really nice. And up here in the arch. So yeah. That is really nice. So I hope you enjoyed that. This is a really nice palette, it will sell out. So if you are interested in grabbing it, make sure you sign up to my alert. And I'll link everything that you need to know in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions. You can leave them in the comments below. I know we like to have a bit of a chat these days, don't we? And also you can message me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm at really on both of those platforms. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.